Hello everyone, welcome to ACE Online. There is a notification from uh, National Remote Sensing Center, of course, promoted by ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, let us see the notification details. If you want to see the details, you just need to type uh, nrsc.gov.in in the address bar so that you will find a page like this and uh, scroll down. If you scroll down, you can find a announcement window here in that advertisement number NRSC RMT 1 2025 recruitment for the post of scientist engineer SE which is dated on May 10th. We just need to click on it so that you will get a new tab. In that if you see the advertise number RMT 1 2025 dated on May 10th recruitment for the post of scientist engineer SC, advertisement number NRSC, so called and so on. Uh, if you want to see the detailed uh, notification, you just need to click on this. If you click on this, you will find a PDF like this. Okay. So as I said, NRSC, National Remote uh, Sensing, uh, uh, you know, <coughs> organization center. So they are calling the applications for various uh, scientist engineer posts. Of course, this uh, posts are uh, for engineering domain and non-engineering domain is also there. Majorly this works on uh, earthquake. So it is almost related to geology, hydrology, this kind of uh, qualifications they'll ask. Let us see the details. Okay. Uh, if you see the name of the post and all those things, uh, here scientist, engineer, SC, forestry and ecology like that, geoinformatics, geology, Number of posts also they have mentioned and they have mentioned the qualification also. Master degree should be there along with the bachelor, bachelor's degree. They have mentioned the specialization also. Okay. Uh, if you scroll down, of course, uh, in between you can see the post code also 20 to 23, 24. Uh, you see here, I think probably yeah, till 24, it's master degree in urban planning and then uh, be, be taken uh, planning or BARC like that they have mentioned geophysics physics like that background they have asked. Coming to technical uh, qualifications or technical uh, uh, vacancies, here is a vacancies post code uh, 25. Uh, here water resource, what is this water resource specialization I think so, yeah specialization, water resource specialization, you should have a water resource specialization, number of vacancies are 4 and you should have a master degree and as well as bachelor degree, bachelor degree must be from civil engineering or otherwise agricultural engineering. Along with that, master degree should be in this domain. Uh, civil engineering with a specialization in water resources or otherwise hydrology or soil and water. Or else uh, agricultural engineering with uh, water resources, hydrology or soil and water and so on. This, these are the you know specialization you need to have in your master's degree. Along with the bachelor's degree in civil engineering or otherwise agricultural engineering. Along with this, another post code that is uh, 26, same scientist engineer. Geoinformatics, they are uh, you know accepting the applications from MEM Tech in uh, remote sensing and uh, GIS, geoinformatics, artificial intelligence and machine learning also. Okay, if you have a master degree in uh, AIML, along with of course BE, B Tech in computer science or uh, geoinformatics, you are you are eligible to apply for these posts. So for uh, civil, it is around I think four, and for uh, CSC, it is around ten. Okay, so these are the vacancies. Okay, so if you want me to show you some more details, uh, so about uh, eligibility criteria, if you see, you should have a 65% um, percentage on an average in uh, master's degree and similarly in bachelor's degree also around uh, 60%. These are, uh, those are the eligibility criteria from postcode 20 to 23. When it comes to 24, 25, 26, that is for civil and uh, uh, CSC branch, uh, you should have a... Um, Average aggregate minimum percentage of 60 percentage in ME MTech. Of course, CGP also they have mentioned based on 10 point scale. And uh, BA BTech it is 65 percent aggregate. Okay, so this is eligibility criteria. All right. So the application fees is around uh, 750 rupees, obviously for open category, and uh, 250 rupees for uh, other reserved categories, it seems. Okay. Anyhow, so these are some details about application fee. Anyhow, SCST, uh, they are exempted. Okay. Let me show you some more details here. The selection process is like this. So the exam uh, is going to have uh, two parts. One is technical part, another one is non-technical part. 
So if you see the part A, which is your discipline, okay, if you are from civil engineering, civil engineering technical questions will be there. Number of questions will be 60 MCQs will be there and 60 marks, okay. You see here for each right, uh, you know, answer, you will get a plus one. If for each, you know, wrong answer, you will get one third, negative marks. Duration is 75 minutes, okay. Um, <clears throat> for MTech and MSC also they have mentioned separately. Be careful. Coming to part B, you have around uh, 15 MCQs and 30 minutes duration, 20 marks. Okay. Part C, descriptive is also there, uh, 30 minutes, 20 marks and uh, so totally it is of 100 marks paper. Okay. So they have mentioned the details, uh, duration also of each and every part. Remember, um, of course, they, as they have mentioned like part A, part B, uh, there is a uh, shortlisting criteria also. So in each and every section, you should have a 50 percent marks, you should get 50 percent marks and then on the whole, it should be 60 percent uh, marks, you, you should get 60 percent marks. So if you go through the detailed advertisement, you will get to know, okay. And coming to the important dates for the application or last date, starting date, here is the opening date of application is May 10th, it's already started and the last date is May 30, okay, right. So if you want to apply for this post, now you need to visit this website www.nrsc.gov.in from the time which is mentioned, okay. And remember, you know, while applying, they'll ask for uh, your certificates, photographs and all those things. Please be careful. Uh, what size they are asking, okay, what are the documents they are asking, uh, collect all the documents uh, before you are going to apply and then you can move on, okay, right. Of course, you know, exam centers also they have mentioned, uh, Hyderabad, uh, different, different locations they have mentioned, okay, you can see the details while applying the application, right. So these are some uh, key points about this application, uh, this notification, thank you.